In this one, we're going to create an EC2 key pair. Now, this is just a cryptographic key pair that's used to give us SSH access into EC2 instances or servers. Uh, when we make one, AWS will generate a public and private key pair. It'll give us the private key and keep the public key. Uh, when we go to launch instances, if we want to access them via uh, SSH, uh, we'll specify the key pair. And when the instance is launched, AWS will uh, take the, the public key that it kept and put the instance on it, put it on the instance for us so we don't have to worry about doing anything ourselves. Now, if this sounds difficult, don't worry. It's uh, even shorter than, than making the certificate was. So I'm here in my AWS account. And uh, once again, make sure you are in the same region you've been doing everything in. Uh, and for us, if you're just following along one-to-one -one with me, that should be North Virginia or US East 1. So once you're inside of here, we're going to search for EC2. And this is where we're going to go to make this key. And once inside of here, we're going to find key pairs, which is under network and security. And inside of here, we're going to click create key pair. And we want to keep the file format to PIM. And for the name, I'm going to just call this Vault Access. And then click Create Key Pair. And it's going to give me the private key. It's going to actually uh, just download it for me here. So now I'm going to hop over into my shell. And I'm going to move that key pair. If I can... <laughs> it's in my downloads folder. So let me, let me get that here. And I'm just going to move it to this current directory. And the first thing you need to do before anything else is you need to change the permissions on it. So I'm gonna change the permissions to read only. So there's that. And the this you can optionally move it to your .ssh folders. That's a folder that you typically keep all of your keys in, um, but I'm gonna just leave it in the project folder for now, uh, just for simplicity. Now, the last thing we need to do is add this key to our SSH agent. And to do so, it is very simple. You're just going to run SSH, add, and then the key, unless you're on Mac. <laughs> if you're on Mac, you actually need to add a tag, uh, capital K. And when you do that, the identity will be added, the key will be added to our agent, and we will be able to use it. And with that, we are done. We can now use that key pair. And like I said, super fast, super simple.